you guys see these like extra hairs over here? We're gonna go ahead and clean that up. Come on, quality. Come on, quality. <laughs> What's up? My name is Erica Andrea. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to shoot and edit photos for Instagram on your iPhone 12. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the camera is literally amazing you guys. So today we're going to focus on the front camera. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a back camera edition but I'm going to show you guys how to take some pictures with the front camera, how to edit them, what apps I use, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested stay tuned and let's get right on into the video so first things first when you're taking pictures with the front camera on your iPhone 12 Pro Max you want to have some really good lighting everybody knows that the back camera has much better quality but do not sleep on the front camera as long as you have some good lighting whether it be a ring light or whatever type of lighting you have make sure you have that turned on or standing in front of like a really well-lit window whatever the case may be I'll have the lighting that I use in the description box below and if you want a separate video on like how I set up my lighting for my photos and my videos let me know but yeah first thing you want to do is make sure you have some bomb lighting I set up to take my pictures and I have a couple of those photos on the screen as you guys can see the lighting was pretty dark like I wanted the vibe of this picture to be a little bit more dark a little bit more serene I wanted the neon light on the wall to really pop out so I took some photos like that and I did shoot these in portrait mode so the background is just a teensy bit blurred so let's go ahead and see how those pictures came out I do have a couple of them here so let's see we got a couple of good photos so like I really like this one so we're gonna go ahead and favorite that I like that one we'll favorite that one um let's see if I got any other good ones that day not really not really not really so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that app. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the app Facetune 2. Now this app is what I'm going to use for anything related to face, acne, fixing up something in my hair, like the details, the minor details. In this app, I'm not going to be doing anything that has to do with lighting, saturation, or anything like that. This is strictly for like the stuff that people make fun of you for, like the editing out the imperfections. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and go to my favorites. I'm going to find that picture. This is the one that I said I wanted to use. Yeah, okay, so as you guys can see, my hair looks a little bit funny. Um, you could see the texture in my skin a lot, which is normal, but if you want a really crispy photo, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to fix this. So I'm gonna go ahead into retouch, and I'm gonna use the smooth feature, and just run that over the face. But you guys see how the bar is set really, really high. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down to about 50%. And I always do my upper lip because I normally have like some little tiny hairs there. And I don't want nobody to see those, period. And then I also go along my nose because I do have a very textured nose. So with a very light hand, I'm doing this as well just around my nose just to make that look a little better then also my forehead let's do that a little bit and a little bit on my cheek as well and then I'm gonna show you guys the before and after I'm gonna press this little button in the bottom right and as you guys can see you see how it's subtle but it does make a pretty substantial difference as far as like the texture of your skin. And I didn't overly edit it to where I just look like a cartoon, you know what I mean? But you can turn it up and it looks much more blurred. I preferred it to be turned down, so that's what I'm doing for that. And it looks pretty good, so we're gonna apply that. You can also like adjust your face with this. I don't normally mess too much with this because Messing with your face and your jaw and your chin and your nose and all of that is just a bit much. But if you feel like maybe your contour didn't snatch your cheek enough or maybe you look a little bit chubby in the face, maybe you're bloated, whatever the case, you can slim out your jaw. You can make it bigger if you want to. You could slim it out. Um, I'm not going to be doing that, like I said. If you really like a picture, like if you like how the photo turned out and 
you're just not smiling properly, like you didn't like how you were holding your mouth, you can go ahead and like turn it into a smile. It looks weird on this picture, but on some pictures, it'll do the trick. You also could smirk, you know, it just turns up your corner of your mouth a little bit. So that actually doesn't look bad on this photo. So really the only thing I did was just adjust my smile a little bit. Some people may like it, some people may hate it. Let me know in the comments down below. So now that my face, you know, is looking a little smooth and better, I'm going to go ahead and I think I want to put in a little bit more detail. Let's go to retouch and let's go to details and we're going to zoom in on these eyes, okay? So let's bring back in some detail around here and I'm also going to turn this down just a little bit. Also going to put some detail back into my eyebrows because sometimes with the lighting and the brightness and everything, it just gets lost. So you guys see how it just makes my brows and my eyes pop back out on my face. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. This is what the before and after looks like. As you guys can see, it just brings out my eyes much more. But you guys can see we have a little mistake over here with like my lashes. It looks like my, um, so it looks like my bottom mascara got a little smudged so it looks a little funny right there so i'm gonna press the conceal button and just literally conceal that and it works like a charm wherever it looks weird i'm just gonna go ahead and conceal it see if it looks a little better it does look a little better i'm just gonna go back over it a little more and let's zoom out much much better you guys see that it cleaned it right up and nobody's gonna be able to tell that you did this to the photo so yeah this is what we're looking like so far I like how this looks I don't think I'm gonna do much else to the photo face tune has a lot of effects you could really transform your face with this and that is not my goal so I'm gonna go ahead and save it I like how my face looks I'm not really gonna change anything else now we're gonna open up an app called PixArt so let's go ahead and open it we're going to press the plus button and we're going to add that photo that we were just messing around with. Now, this is where I play with the lighting and I love, love this app and I'll show you guys why. You can adjust the brightness, the clarity, this, all of the things that you would want to adjust, you could do that here. So, I'm going to mess with the brightness a little bit and see, do I want it a little brighter? Do I want it darker? And what I love about this app is like you can brighten up the background and then erase it over your face if you wanted to. I'm not doing that for this photo, but I love doing that for full body pictures, especially when I'm taking them outside. But I don't think this photo needs to be any brighter. But let's see about the saturation. I like to turn it up a little bit sometimes because the lights wash me out. So I did turn it up just to four. We'll apply that and I'm gonna go ahead and actually decrease the brightness on the background just a tiny bit and I'm gonna go ahead and erase press the erase button and I'm gonna select background because that's the only thing I want to edit now as you guys can see it put my face back to normal and took the darkness off of it so now the photo looks like this you guys see what I mean? I just darkened up the background just to give it a little bit more of a muted appearance and it just looks a lot better to me that way so I'm going to apply it because I'm going for more of a dark vibe with this photo but I didn't want my face to look any darker. So I did that. Now also in here is where I play around with the rotation of the photo. I could flip it. Sometimes I like a picture better if it's flipped to the left or flipped to the right but for this one... I still like it this way also sometimes when I turn a photo I may like it better but this one is shot in portrait so it doesn't really matter okay so we're gonna leave it like this I like that yeah that looks good to me so now I'm gonna go ahead and save this then I'm gonna go into VSCO so many things I'm gonna tap the photo press edit we're gonna pick a filter there's a bunch of filters in here I, got, I know you guys are familiar with this app I feel like everybody uses this for their filters. I'm gonna go with, hmm, huh. I don't think I'm gonna go with C1, but I'm gonna turn it down. Cause the photo already has a C1-ish kind of vibe. So we don't need to do too much, just a little bit 
We're also gonna put some grain into the photo because I like how that looks sometimes. Yeah, okay, so I'm liking how that looks. Then I'm gonna sharpen it just a little bit because we have put it through a couple of different apps. And I think I'm satisfied with it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna flip through the photo so you guys can see the before and after. So this is the before. And this is the after as you guys can see it just has a little bit more of a vibe you know it has a color story I guess to it like it doesn't just look like a regular photo it just gives it a little bit more oomph. let me know if you guys like how it turned out in the comments down below but I'm gonna go ahead and do another picture just so you guys can see so these photos are from today actually I wanted a little bit of a different vibe I definitely wanted something more bright something more focused on my face and on my hair so I did go and take a couple of pictures again in portrait mode as you guys can see a couple of different poses played around with like you know changing my head tilt or whatever the case um I also went in and adjusted the depth and this is just how blurred the background is as you guys can see adjusted that a little bit and I got a couple of photos so let's go in my albums and see how they turned out so we do have a couple of good ones. I really like this one. That one's not bad either, but I'm not going to favorite it. My eyes are closed in this one. This one's also not too bad. Well, this one was a slow-mo that I took. Come on, quality. Come on, quality. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think I have the picture that I like. The rest of these... The rest of these aren't hitting well, this, these two aren't horrible. Favorite those. Um, yeah, I still think the banger is this one. So we're going to edit this photo, and I'm going to do the same exact thing, starting out in Facetune, of course. We're going to go back, go to Favorites, find the photo. Pow. Okay, so this is the photo we're working with. Once again, I come into this app to work on my face, texture, and all of that good stuff. So... Let's start out with the smoothing effect again by my nose for sure. In this picture, since it's so close up, you really, really can see the texture. My upper lip, my forehead a little bit, my cheek. And you see how crazy this looks? Like, this looks ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and turn this down. You don't want it all the way down because that looks like nothing. But, like, some happy medium. You know, somewhere, like, in the middle where it's a little blurred but it's not too crazy that's where i'm gonna put it and once you zoom out it looks really nice flawless perfect so then let's go ahead and add in some details because my eyes did get a little lost in these pictures so let's put some detail back in so you can see my eyeshadow and everything my brows turn it down a little same thing on the opposite eye I like how that looks. See that before and after. I could turn it up just a little bit. Okay, back down a little bit. I really like how this looks. This looks really good. So we're gonna apply that. Then I'm also gonna go into the conceal button. And sometimes I use this to clean up my brows. You guys see these like extra hairs over here? We're gonna go ahead and clean that up turn it down obviously because you don't want it too noticeable but just a little bit there and something is sus over here so i'm gonna try to fix that okay so i'm happy with what this looks like so far very subtle changes like i said like nothing too crazy the quality looks really good so i'm not too pressed so i'm gonna save this because I can't do as much as I want to do in that app, which is why I always go into PixArt and go ahead and finish out the editing. I want to blur out the background, so I'm going to go to Effects, go over to Blur, not Focal Zoom, not Motion, Lens Blur. Let's see. Oops, I didn't mean to save that. I meant to delete it off of my face and see if I like this type of blur that they did. 
So I'm literally just erasing the blur off of my face so that I could see how it looks. Make sure the edges are nice and crispy. Don't want to leave anything left behind. Okay. So I did that. Now I'm going to try to see if I can adjust it. Can adjust the lightness, the radius. Let me turn the radius down a little. Let me turn the light down a little. And then we'll apply. As you guys can see, it just gives the photo just a little bit more of a oomph, you see? So now let's mess with this lighting a little. Let's see. Could turn the, I'm gonna turn the brightness up on the background. And I'm gonna select background to do that. Yeah. Oh wait, undo, because I forgot to erase my arm out of that. So turn the brightness up. And we're gonna select background. And then whatever's left behind. Like I forgot to select this part right here. So I just erase. I erase that okay now we'll apply just so that my face pops a little bit more in the photo then we're gonna go ahead and increase the saturation a little bit nothing too crazy cuz it doesn't look bad we'll apply that and then let's see if it looks better flipped it probably won't it looks nice on its side that'd be cool for Twitter but Okay, so we'll leave it the way it is, like that. Okay, I, I like how that's going. There are some filters in here. A lot of them you have to pay for, so that's why I don't normally use this for that, but it does have some filters. Like, this is a really cute filter, and I would fade it out. Ooh, I'm gonna use this. I really like this filter. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into Film 3, and I like how that looks. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. A noise. We don't want too much noise, just a little. Fade. Alrighty, I kind of like this, y'all. Let's turn it, fade it a little bit. All right, so we applied that filter. As you guys can see, that looks really good. I do want to sharpen it just a little bit. Yes, perfect. Okay, then we'll save it. All right, I'm ready for the before and after for this one. All right, so this is the before and this is the after. Like, it just looks so crispy, so nice, like just Instagrammable, okay? It just looks so much better. Obviously, the original picture does have a niceness to it. Like, you could post it just like that, but I do like to be a little extra and just put a little more oomph on my photo so that looks really good I like how that turned out so yeah you guys that's how I edit my pictures for Instagram I swear it's nothing too crazy I try not to go too like too intense with the editing because I do want to still look like myself at the end of the day especially with selfies I feel like the editing is super quick and easy let me know if you guys want to see a back camera addition to this video I could take some pictures outside and show you guys how I edit those but this is literally like the simple basic selfie type vibe let me know if you like this video in the comments down below and let me know if you guys use any of the apps I use. Are there other apps you use? Any suggestions you have? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss an upload and I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye!